are a nonprofit volunteer group. It's a group few people have heard of and fewer still have joined for a night hike. First, the Sea Turtle Preservation Society delivers a mini lesson on this creature that has survived for more than 200 million years. But most species today are endangered or threatened. It helps uh, not only touch, touch them, but it you know, brings to light and adds a face, more or less adds a face to, their, to the sea turtle's plight and hopefully gets them to feel a bit of stewardship for these animals. The first rule, no lights. That's critical. Both nesting turtles and their hatchlings depend on the moon to lead them back to sea. That's why residents turn off their beachside lights at night and why flashlights are off limits. But with help from night vision equipment, just like soldiers use to see at night, we spotted one turtle lumbering back into the surf. And minutes later, success. A sea turtle just beginning to lay her eggs. This is a loggerhead, the most common sea turtle on the Space Coast, reaching 350 pounds. She took her time, more than an hour to fill her nest, illuminated for the turtle crowd by a single red light. Pretty awesome stuff for this group of Cub Scouts from Altamont Springs. Pretty cool and interesting how it laid his eggs. Well, it's different when you're up close and personal. I would have thought that the turtle would have laid a lot more eggs than just 49 or 50. I just thought there was going to be a lot more turtles out, but all I saw was pretty much two. In fact, turtle watchers across the state have been seeing fewer nests. And since the peak year of 1998, when sea turtles made 85,000 nests on Florida beaches, the number is expected to be half that this year. It is a little bit slow, it seems, right now, but I don't think it's anything to be alarmed about right now. And it's way too early to tell how the season will shape up. Marine biologists are speculating that cooler Gulf Stream temperatures and a severe red tide last year may be keeping the nesting numbers down. She's using her rear flippers now. But as this turtle began to cover her nest, which will produce hatchlings in two months, the turtle tourists watched and hoped this annual phenomenon has many fruitful nights ahead. In Brevard County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.